so Sarah, now we're gonna move on to level three. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, question number one. How many years after Jacob married Leah did he marry Rachel? Six years, seven years, or five years later? Seven years later. Are you sure? Yeah. That's correct. In the book of Genesis, we're told that Jacob had to work 14 total years in order to marry Rachel. Very good. Question number two. What was Leah's daughter's name? Sarah, Dina, or Aster? Dina. Are you sure? Yeah. Correct? The answer in Genesis 30, 21 tells us that afterwards she bore a daughter and called her name Dina. Moving on to question number three. Are you ready? Yeah. Why did Jacob send gifts to Esau? In case Esau attacked him, some could escape, to appease Esau and offer him a peace offering, to attack Esau. To appease Esau and offer peace. Are you sure? Yes. The answer is correct. Genesis 30, 2, 20 tells us, And be sure to say, Your servant Jacob is coming behind us, for he thought I will pacify him with these gifts I am sending on ahead. Later, when I see him, perhaps he will receive me. Very good. Moving on to question number four. Why did Jacob put Rachel and Joseph last in order to kill them because he hated them or because he loved them the most and gave them the most protection? Because he loved them the most and gave them the, more, the most protection. Yes, that's correct. Again, in the book of Genesis, we're told that he put them last because he loved them the most out of all his wives and children. Finally, question number five. What did Sheshem do to Dina, Jacob's daughter? He killed her, he violated her, or he divorced her? Killed her. He killed her. Let's see if that's the correct answer. In Genesis 34, 2, when Sheshem, son of Hamor, the Hevite, the ruler of that area saw her, he took her and raped her. So unfortunately, that was not the correct answer. The correct answer was he violated her. So I'm sorry, Sarah, we didn't pass level three, but you did make it through two levels, which means that your total earnings are $50. So Sarah, congratulations on passing two levels in our game show. And with that, you've earned $50. Thank you. Cain spent all of his efforts justifying what he was doing. And Cain didn't really sacrifice anything at all. He gave God something he didn't really need or care about, and God knew it, but God wasn't cruel or harsh to Cain. Instead, God gently showed Cain that the straw wasn't an appropriate sacrifice by causing it to smolder instead of burn. Instead of seeing God's action as the loving reminder that it was, Cain became angry and lashed out at his only brother. Cain didn't listen to God, even when God tried to show Cain his mistakes. Cain refused to listen. He lashed out at his brother instead of opening his heart to God. And when God asked him what had happened, Cain made one last attempt to deny everything he'd done. Am I my brother's keeper? He shouted desperately before finally realizing his responsibility for everything that had happened to his brother. So we've ended our portion of the game with Sarah. Now we're gonna have another contestant to join us in, Are You Sure? <laughs> Welcome back to Are You Sure? Now let's pick our next contestant. Contestant number three. That's me. Congratulations, JC. Are you ready to play in Are You Sure? Awesome. Let's get started. Welcome back to Are You Sure with our new contestant, JC. Before we get started, let's get to know her a little bit more. Welcome, JC. Hi. Are you excited to be here? Yes. Tell us how old you are. 11. 11. And what grade is that in school? Six. Sixth grade. grade. Do you have a favorite hobby or sport? I like to read. You like to read. That's yes. awesome and pretty unique. And think about this pretty hard. What's your favorite book or story in the Bible? Ruth. Ruth? Great choice. Now that we've gotten to know JC a little bit more, I'll explain to her what the game show rules are. So, 
we're gonna have five rounds of five questions each. Every time you pass a round, you're gonna get more money for each of those rounds. Level one, you'll get $25. Level two, $50. Level three, $100. Level four, $250. And level five, the ultimate prize of $400. Got it? Mm -hmm. Sorry, ready to get started? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Awesome. So round one, question one. What was created on the first day in the book of Genesis? Waters, light, or vault? Light. Are you sure? Yes. Let's find the answer. Genesis 1, 3, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. Good job. Moving on to question number two. From what were the animals formed? All the wild animals and all the birds were formed out of the sky. All the wild animals and all the birds were formed out of the sea. All the wild animals and the birds were formed out of the ground. All the wild animals and all the wild birds were formed out of the ground. Are you sure? Yes. Let's look at the answer. Genesis 2.19 says, Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. Good job. Question number three. Who tricked Adam and Eve into eating of the tree? The lost angel, the archangel, or the serpent, Satan? The serpent. Are you sure? Yes. Genesis 3.3 tells us, Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals that the Lord God had made. And he said to, to the woman to eat out of the fruit of the tree. Good job. Question number four. What did God do to Cain because he killed Abel? He expelled him from the land, he imprisoned him, he put a curse on him. Would you like me to read you the answers again? Yes. So the question is, what did God do to Cain because of killing Abel? Expel him, imprison him, or put a curse on him? Put a curse on him. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's look at the answer. Genesis 4.11 And now art thou cursed from the earth, which had opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Yes, that is correct. Congratulations. Last question in level number one. Question number five. Are you ready? Yes. Who walked with God and was taken sooner by him? Zila, Seth, or Enoch? Enoch. Are you sure? Yes. So in Genesis 5.24, we are told, And Enoch walked with God, and God took him. Good job, you've passed level one. Congratulations. God saved Noah and his family, but everyone else died in the flood. That's really hard to think about. Why did God send a flood? What does this tell us about God's holiness? What is the sign that God made with the people? God flooded the world because he was so angry at all of the sin. He asked Noah to build an ark to save people who believe on what he said to Noah. After the flood waters went down and Noah's family and all the animals believed the ark, God made a promise to Noah. He promised Noah that he would never again destroy the whole earth with a flood. Then he did something to remind Noah of that promise. He placed a rainbow in the sky and he said to Noah, I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be a sign of the promise between me and all life on earth. God said that every time he saw the rainbow, we would remember the promise that he, God, made. Congratulations, JC, for passing level number one. Unfortunately, we're out of time for this episode of Are You Sure? But come back next time with us and we'll finish and continue to level two. Is that okay? Join us next time for a new episode of Are You Sure? with a brand new contestant. <laughs>